This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Sandra Ali. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Thursday. Tragedy in Livonia after tornado rips through a neighborhood. A two-year-old boy is dead, his mother in the hospital after the twister knocked over several trees. One of those trees came crashing down on the family's home. This is on Houghton Street near Newburgh and Schoolcraft. The National Weather Service telling us the tornado was packing winds of up to 90 miles an hour and it spun up quickly. Thousands of DTE customers are still without power this morning. In Farmington Hills, strong winds are being blamed for causing a gas station canopy to collapse. The structure fell onto several cars. It sparked a fire at one of the pumps. Fortunately, though, the gas station clerk was able to turn off the gas supply and the heavy rain helped put the flames out. One person was hurt, but they're expected to be OK. On Detroit's west side, an investigation underway. This after police officers fired shots at a Jeep after reports someone in the Jeep was shooting at other people. It happened yesterday at O'Hare Park. Police were responding to 911 calls of someone shooting at people from a Jeep. When they found the SUV, the driver took off. An officer reportedly shot at the Jeep, causing it to stop. The five people inside, they ran away quickly, but they were arrested. One person was shot in the leg. They're gonna be okay. It's still not clear though if the victim was shot by the suspect or by police. New updates in the Riverfront Conservancy fraud controversy. The former chief financial officer, William Smith, he's now been charged with bank and wire fraud in federal court. Smith is accused of stealing almost $40 million. Prosecutors say he embezzled conservancy money for about 12 years and used that money to pay for charges on an American Express account that his family was using. On your block in Corktown, where Michigan Central will be celebrating its grand reopening. The six year renovation project caps off tonight with a star studded concert featuring artists like Diana Ross, Big Sean, and Jack White. That concert being produced by Detroit's own Eminem. There are several watch parties around town as well. You'll find a complete list, including information about the public tours that begin tomorrow. It's on our website, cbsdetroit.com. Let's go ahead and check in with next weather meteorologist Troy Bridges this morning. Troy, good morning. Good morning, Sandra. After yesterday's storms and a little bit of rain this morning, we are drying out through the day, warming to a high of 78, and we'll see more sun as the day goes on with, again, no rain chances through the day, even the late morning, good and dry. We will show you future cast here as you watch the clock, watch the changes. We will see a few clouds on and off, a sprinkle or two trying to show up on the model, but we will be dry into the afternoon today. And and then taking you into Friday afternoon, still a minimal chance for a couple of showers. There is no severe risk for the next couple of days. And then Saturday, we do see a little bit of rain as well as we watch these impulses of moisture and energy continue to move through our area. High temperatures today warming into the upper 70s, 77 in Tecumseh, today in Dundee up to 78 degrees. Many areas in the 70s not nearly as warm as we saw yesterday and the day before. South Lyon today warming to a high of 75 degrees right there in Pontiac 76 for the high Sandusky today up to 74 degrees tomorrow even cooler with a high of 70. We'll see those rain chances at 30% Friday, but only 20% for Saturday and Sunday with high temperatures in the mid 70s for both weekend days. Then we gradually warm, especially for Tuesday and Wednesday back close to 80 in the upper 70s with morning lows across the board in the 50s, mainly the low 50s through the weekend and then back to the upper 50s for those early morning lows next week. Sandra, back to you. Troy, thank you. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later today covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.